Hello, Nistas and Nistos. How are you today? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Savings Fashionista, and you have arrived to Nistas Nation. And over here in Nistas Nation, we do mainly themed fragrances, whether it be body or home. So, every month I do a hygiene body care empties video as well as a home fragrance video. I used to do it compiled in one, but the retention rate was so low when I looked at my analytics, so I decided to just split it up in two. So we're going to get started with the body care and hygiene empties. So let's just jump right into it. I'm going to take my little baggie here. So mainly, um, I mean, mainly I just deposit everything. Sometimes things will stay in the bathroom until I pick them up and bring them into my beauty room but I just house this bath and body work shopping bag in my beauty room and I just deposit the um, empty containers and once they compile over a month I bring them to you and give you a very very brief description of what I felt about the product many of these products are um, repeated use because they're just some products that you use on a daily or you know, monthly basis that you really like um, as far as your hygiene go. So we're just going to get right into it. So we're going to start off with this Native Body Wash. I purchased this at Target. It was on clearance. I think I paid $6.99 for it. And I think the Natives are regular $8.99. But this is the Eucalyptus and Mint. You know, the Native products are, it promotes natural um, it's sulfate free, paraben free, and dye free. So this was a pretty nice product. Um, it's not a scent that I would have picked at regular price. Um, it does give you a very, um, um, medicinal like note, you know, it's very medicinal, you know, eucalyptus. So it does put you in the mind of some of the Bath and Body Works. Um, aromatherapy care but this was the native body wash all right the next thing is a used loofah um, I use one of these probably every two months so once it starts to get really raggly and it's not tightly woven as it was when I first purchased it I just throw it in the garbage and I use this this is something that I picked up at Trader Joe's. This is the Oatmeal Exfoliant Bar um, Almond and Ginger Soap, you guys. This was a really good soap. Um, as I was using this soap, this soap reminded me so much of the Yoni Bars that I use. And um, I could smell that arrowroot in it. And um, it was very Yoni safe. I didn't have any issues with it. Um, it didn't irritate my skin, but of course, you know, in most situations when a person have a skin issue or skin breakout, you know, I, I don't know if you've heard of an oatmeal bath, but, um, so, um, I figured that it would be relatively safe. This bar does last quite a while. Um, it has last about two weeks. There is still a very, very small piece left. But I think that that's pretty good for two adults and um, sometimes a little child to be using this. So um, it's a really nice bar. So if you're ever in Trader Joe's, you can't go wrong with this. I think it's priced at like $2.99. All right, the next thing was something that I picked up at SAS last summer. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Body Wash. I love the way this stuff smells. It has like this banana exotic smell to it that is so weird to me but um i really do like this if i run across this again i would definitely buy it i do think that there was a difference you know when i use this regularly it does make my skin feel softer all right we made it through a bu sweet sugar sprinkles hand soap i bought this last year too at an SAS sale and I just pulled it out for the month of February and it lingered on into um, March all right so you know I am currently doing a de-stashing as far well I wouldn't say de well I am doing some decluttering because I have a, a shopping bag full of stuff I'm gonna give to my niece 
but um, as far as like the shower gels and a lot of the creams I have been keeping those in rotation in um, my husband's and I bathroom so that we can use it up and he has been doing a great job with helping me use up these products so this is the pumpkin cupcake shower gel with bath and Bo from bath and body works all right I made it through a fairy tale um, body cream I made it through a blueberry sugar pancake shower gel. I made it through a Josie Curls Moisturizing Conditioner. I made it through um, a Curl Enhancing Spray. You know, I used about one and one fourth of these. And this is probably, this one was lingered over from February. So I use these up. I get these at Target, the Johnny the Josie products and they're very very reasonable all right we made it through a candid violet sorbet um, shower gel I made it through the peppermint body scrub by body prescriptions I made it through a hydrating shampoo by Josie I made it through my night cream by Fenty Beauty. This is called the Instant Reset Overnight Recovery Gel Cream. I am gonna replace this. Um, you know that the Fenty products, a lot of their products are um, environmental safe because they do practice recycling. So instead of buying the whole container, I'll just buy the refill. All right, I made it through a curl enhancing smoothie. Back in my couponing days, you guys, you know how much I paid for this? I paid 10 cents for these. Walgreens had this crazy deal. I don't even remember the deal per se, but I probably have about 10 more in my drawer. But I bought tons of these. And um, I think after savings and coupons, I only paid like 10 cents for these. But this is just the moisturizing lotion that my daughter and I both use. My daughter has natural hair as well. So this is just a really good moisturizing lotion for your hair. Made it through another BU. Made it through a Capri shower gel. Made it through a chocolate covered cherry shower gel. We made it through a moisturizing orange and ginger aromatherapy care moisturizing shower gel. I got these also at SAS. This is like my favorite find at SAS. They'd be like $3.67 or something, but this is by far one of my most favorite finds at SAS. All right, I um, have this hair serum and this is um, by Trader Joe's. It helps tame frizz and shine very inexpensive. It's not going to work like your Paul Mitchell products or your Chi products, but I think um, it's a fairly decent product for the price that you pay for it. All right, we made it through a coconut butter from Trader Joe's, and this is the one that is on shelves year-round. This is not seasonal like the grapefruit, the Brazilian nut, or the um, pumpkin butter. All right, this was the last of my um, shower steamers. I got these when they had a $5.95 aromatherapy care sale, and I think I got like six of these. I actually did a video on them, so I'll link that video up above. Um, I did like a ranking and gave my thoughts and opinions on these shower steamers. These are expensive. They are like $18.50, so I will always encourage to wait until they are a part of the aromatherapy care. And I don't think they even have these year round. All right, I made it through um, rosemary and mint, um, a hydrating shampoo, and I wanna thank Green Goo again. They um, sent me over a PR box with tons of goodies in them. Um, they asked that I post my um, reviews and content on Instagram and TikTok. So don't forget that I am on Instagram and TikTok 
and I have the same name, Satan's Fashionista over there, but I highlighted them over on those two platforms, and this was a really good um, shampoo. All right, made it through Joe Malone, Mimosa, and Cardamone. Um, this came with one of um, my fragrances as a free gift. And this is what made me go back and get the um, fragrance. And I didn't get the little one. I got the big one. And that mimosa and cardamom, it's everything. All right. Made it through a CEO, Sunday Riley. The help of someone else. But this right here, this is a really good product. It's rather pricey. I did get this in one of my BoxyCharm boxes. BoxyCharm and Espy, they are such great um, monthly subscriptions if you don't really know what you like for your skin and you're going through some trial and error or you just want to try new products without paying that you know high price initially now you can't control what's in your bag you just have to hope for the best and that you get some really good stuff so this was one of the things that I got in one of the boxy charm boxes and it was a full size one this retails for I think $65 at Sephora so I gotta bite the bullet and go ahead and buy me another one because I really really like this cream all right made it through an antibacteria hand spray made it through the coconut cream pie body cream made it through this creme shop fresh CBD toner all right I don't know if it did anything special for my skin I just like to put a toner on my skin that is part of my routine and I only purchased this because it said CBD so I was hoping that it was giving me a very relaxed feeling or relax the cells in my skin I didn't notice a big difference but you never know unless you try and I did get that at TJ Maxx for a very inexpensive price all right made it through the bonfire bash body cream made it through the fairy tale fine fragrance mists many fine fragrance mists I keep those in my purse I made it through the um, nourish by Trader Joe's the microdermabrasia scrub exfoliating cream this is a really good scrub you guys it is so important that you take those dead skin cells off your skin so make sure that you get you a really good exfoliant and if you can't use an exfoliant you can get like these little silicone face scrubbers that will help you with your gentle cleanser because at times I can't use exfoliants because of the dermatitis so I do use my gentle cleanse and I just use one of those um, face cleansers or you can use the brush you know the little electronic brush but this is really good this um, microdermabrasion scrub all right made it through a perfect autumn hand sanitizer we made it through a white tea and sage shower gel and this is something else that I really enjoy and I'm going to look it up and um, purchase a full bottle. This was a pill-off mask. Now, I'm not big at putting anything on my skin, but normally when it's something natural, like if it's honey and turmeric or watermelon or something like that, and it's something more natural, I will try it. I'm glad that I tried this. This is the um, Pure, Pureless. Um off watermelon and marshmallow mask this came in an SV bag some time ago and I was just decluttering and I decided to use it but when it came it came with this as well as the balm so I do still have the balm and I do use the balm um, you can put the balm on your lips or your face but I'm gonna look into purchasing me one of these I made it through a coconut candy apple hand cream and I made it through one of my Laura Zeller I love these lip glosses you can get them like in a kit or a pack like a three pack a trio from TJ Maxx for very inexpensive so I did use that so that's all I have for my month of March hygiene and beauty empties so if you guys would, please like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget, you, yes you, you are great. Bye-bye.